Sean, it, it looked like an almost perfect performance on Saturday, but when you went through the tape, did you spot any things in the areas for improvement? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. Um, things were, I thought we could do better, and um, there have been quite open chats with the players, and they're very, very honest, and, and they come up with some like good detail what we can improve on as well. So, yeah, it weren't all positive. Any particular areas that you might be able to say with us? Uh, no, I won't be showing with you. Uh, but there was um, a few in defence, uh, mainly defence, where we can, we can defend better. said after the game, Sean, at the weekend, there's going to be some rotation. Is that still the plan? Yeah. Everyone who didn't play Saturday gets a chance this weekend. Yeah. What, yeah. After a 66 win, I guess there's probably quite a bit of competition for places. Guys impressed at St James' Park. What are you looking for from the guys coming in? Well, um, a better performance. Uh, and, and by that, I mean we're playing a different team, different challenge this week. But there's certain um, standards which we've all put on ourselves as a team as a group which we want to get better at and uh, without getting too technical in the detail uh, the, these two here know exactly what I mean uh, things we need to get better at in, in attacking defence certain English standards which uh, if we do that then we'll go into the Greece game very very confident Sean is that always the plan to play the 70s to play whatever the outcome of the last 70s um, no it weren't Dev um, but I felt obviously we felt comfortable after that after that win, and it's only fair, you know, that it was a it was a tough. The team I picked for for Samoa, it was very difficult to pick that team, you know, because um, you look at the, the players I didn't pick, and they're all in good, really good form. So it wasn't easy conversations that day when I told them they were playing, and uh, so I want I want to see them share the good this week and and see if our, our performance can improve. Was there any one selection? No, if I'm honest, they're not Garrett. There was, um, there was all difficult. Um, but I tell you what did impress me was the response of the players. Um, it was like next job, the team bigger than me. It's not about me, and and I've been I've been really really impressed with the foot all of 24. I've adapted. I've a care passionate about the country. I suppose that's one of those tough decisions to make. You don't want the team picking. No, you don't, and, and I don't want them being happy with my decision either. I expect them to be disappointed, but they understand I can only pick 17, and this week this is their chance. And then we've got the Greece game, and then hopefully we've got the quarterfinals, and and then then it's for a game. Whoever's playing well, whoever I'm convinced will get us that win in the quarterfinal, we'll play. You go with one hooker again, Charles? This week? This week? No, I didn't last week. So. One specialist hooker. Yeah. You were underdog. You were so-called underdogs going to Samoa game. You now anything but. I mean, could you now see how good this team can be? Is, it, is that a different dynamic? Something different to manage? Or? No. Uh, one one thing we will not do is get carried away. We beat a Samoa team who were underdone. They didn't perform well at all. They can play miles better than that. But I thought we was outstanding. So we're not going to. We're not that type of a, a people. With the English. About going around passing each other on the back. We celebrated the win. But that's gone now. It's been all about improvement today. And uh, you know, so I know where we're at. You know, we beat we beat a small team that weren't really firing, and but beat, we beat them well and did a lot of good things in a pressure game. But we won't be walking around patting each other on the back saying, "Well done, job done." It's a great atmosphere at Newcastle. A big, big crowd. Are you hoping to say the same again this Saturday? Yeah, I think it's a sellout on 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 Saturday. If it's not, I get your ticket and get down because you know the way it's going. It's going to be a good game. The French. You know, with Trent Robinson there and Lauren and long, longer, they're going to be they're going to be challenging us, and it's going to be a test match, so as it was in in, in France last year. So I'm looking forward to a real good day. Does it does it prove an advantage having players like Mike and Sam Tompkins in the camp who sort of know a little bit about their, their players, there's a lot of Catalan players in that team? Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, we had some more week last week. Um, some more food, some more and chat. We know all about some more. Now it's over to Mike and Sam and Mickey. Uh, with, a, with a French chat and we'll have a French week and have a and go into the game really confident. The World Cup guys were saying that they've seen just a huge boost in ticket sales off the back of your performance Saturday. I guess it's nice that you sort of captured the nation's imagination a bit, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'd rather do that than have a poor performance. Um, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with what we did. No, no question, regardless of what Samoa was like. 
uh, how we went about our business. Um, there was a lot of pressure in that game, and uh, you know, nobody won't expect us to win. And uh, apart from within this group, so to get to perform the way we did, and and to get people buying tickets on the on the back of that performance, is really encouraging for the players. You know, the players love playing in front of big crowds, and it's going to be sold out again this weekend. And then um, we want to do the same in Sheffield. You said obviously everyone's going to come in and do play last week. Who will partner Mark Steen in the halves? I know is that a decision still to be made? Uh, that's still a decision to be made. That you know, I know they're all going to play. I'll go into detail when I, when I meet the coaches this afternoon. Very difficult to leave one of those two out. George or Jack, they're both great in Newcastle, aren't they? Yeah, re really good. Um, but it's not that difficult. Um, the players who I'm going to leave out will understand the reasons why and it's what one thing we've all said to each other is we're going to be straight and honest and the conversation will be easy. Thank you, you ready to take on some of your mates that he has been cancelled in a, in a French shirt. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's always a great game, England versus France. Um, they're a passionate, passionate bunch and, you know, they've got some strong individuals in that team and I'm sure we'll be definitely uh, tested on Saturday. Sorry. What did you think about France last night? Yeah, I thought there was um, typical France. They did some really, really good things. Some things what I didn't expect, and that's what you always get against France. You get unpredictability. Um, but they got some really good ball carriers. The big, uh, really big. Um, you know, so we need we need to make sure that our uh, our defence is on. No question about that. John Bateman's on the players back available. What does he bring to the team, and so how do you plan to use him? Um, I'll, I'll use him in the middle, um, but he, he's, he's a good leader, John. Comp he competes. Um, you just need to get the ball in his hand. There's no point in giving him a like a real descriptive way of playing. He, he, he just needs to play. He's a natural rugby player, John, and uh, and that's what he adds towards. That's that's his role this weekend. Andy, good lad from Goldburn, just down the road, so. Could you ever imagine that you'd be at Ryan Park training with England? Oh yeah, it's, it's a really proud moment, obviously, every single day. Um, <clears throat> turning up, as soon as I put this gear on, you know, it's, it's, I'm really proud. It's an overwhelming feeling, but uh, we've got a job to do and that's to win a World Cup. And if I can add anything to that, then it, it's a dream come true for me. So, yeah, was it? I suppose it's a bit surreal. Could like, a laughing Golden Park side and imagine representing his nation in a World Cup when he was a young lad? I know, yeah, yeah. Um, I've worked hard. I've worked hard, yeah. Uh, I've not given up. Um, I've persevered with my opportunities, and Sean's given me a good opportunity here, and I can't wait. Obviously, prove to him that, you know, I put my foot, my, my front foot forward, and compete hard. How much are you enjoying working with Sean, and just what you're learning from him every day? Yeah, it's, this should be interesting. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. Obviously, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a competitive bloke. Um, he gets the best out of his players um, on and off the field. Um, he's well respected and. Yeah, it's, like I said, I'm just privileged to be here and really proud. Sean, how many of the other games have you watched so far? And have you seen anything from any other team better than what your team have produced? Yeah, I've watched every game, obviously. Um, I thought New Zealand were good. Um, I thought Lebanon had a, had a good day at them. Um, yeah, some, some things what Italy did. I thought we was, we was very consistent. We completed at 90%. There's no getting away from what we did. We completed very high. We didn't make many, give many penalties away. We're very disciplined. And, uh, you know, but we need to do it again this Saturday. I, you know, I want, I want better completion. I want less penalties and no errors. And, um, and that's just the way we think. But I've, I've seen good parts. I thought New Zealand were very, very good. Good ball carriers, good skill. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna challenge teams then. Mike, as somebody who was involved in it, after, after the game on Saturday, you won 60 points to 6. Was your first thought, what can I do better? Or what, what did I do wrong, Mike? Because the improvement seems to be the whole sort of theme of, the, of every week, really. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as uh, Sean's touched on, we, we played well, um, but it was more like a foundation for what we can do. Um, this morning in, in video, we've, we've gone through it and been not like massively critical, but there's a lot of areas where we can improve on. Um, and that's that's a positive in itself as well because we know we can do so much better, um, and we we definitely know we're going to be tested further on in this competition. Mike, how, how does it work with sharing advice about 
some of the French players? Do you stand up and present, or do you feed it into Sean, or how does it work? Oh, it's just, you know, I think we're quite a good, honest group, and when we can see areas of what we can exploit or what we know certain individuals couldn't bring to their team, it's speaking up and you know helping out our team as a whole. Um, it's throughout the whole uh, videos that we've had, everyone spoke has not been quiet in there, so it's not so much of you know pointing out individuals as such, but it's just the way that certain players like to play. Was it the same last week that some of the NRL boys about some of the Samoans today? Yeah, yeah, they've, they've played against them week in, week out, um, so they know some of their traits and it's similar to me. I've trained with them and played with them throughout the whole year, so I know a lot of their players, a lot of their strengths. Are you rest your captain this week, Um Not 100% this Saturday, not 100%. John, what do you make of the gap between England and France? That test over there last year was a probably closer than it has been for some time and I think this is the first time ever they've had a complete full-time squad of 24. Do you think it's getting closer? Yeah, I do. I do. I, I, and having people like Trent Robinson involved, uh, it's only going to make them stronger. And the longer they're in Super League and playing at a high level, um, I thought the test last, last year was really uh, important to us. We got a lot from it and, um, and I expect this test on, on Saturday to be full, no question. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, they bring they bring a lot to the international game, and it's it's only going to help the whole international game as a whole if we have a competitive French side. Um, see the likes of Ireland as well; they're starting to compete a lot more now as well. So, for us home nations, it's massive for us. Do you find yourself like wanting France to be well because of your involvement? Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of friends in that French team, so I, I hope they do extremely well in this competition. Just obviously not against us, so. Obviously Saturday, those friendships will be put on hold for 80 minutes and then we go at it. Good luck, guys. All good. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Thank you.